Hi, my name is Gideon de Kock. I'm a street photographer based in Hong Kong and I'm originally from Cape Town, South Africa. So yeah, this first image is of a man passed out on a sort of a large scale arcade cabinet um, late one night out in Kowloon. The story behind this image is that I think I'd, I'd recently just gotten into shooting. I'd probably been shooting for maybe uh, six months at this stage. And I'd been gifted a little Olympus MJU-80, a little point and shoot film camera from a, a good friend of mine. And ever since then, I really got super into shooting street and shooting film in general. We'd often just go out, grab some road beers and just cruise uh, Kowloon. And yeah, I often shoot Kowloon because um, I don't know, I just feel like it's got more of a, a story to tell than uh, sort of the more affluent parts of Hong Kong. It's rad. Somewhere between this image was a while ago, probably between Prince Edward and Shamsha Po somewhere. And yeah, so we popped into one of these uh, arcades, which we tend to enjoy doing. And I saw this guy from the entrance. So I ran, well, briskly walked up to the end of the table, crouched down, and yeah, snapped this one photo. This last image here is probably one of uh, my favorite photos I've uh, taken thus far. A lot of people, they tend to maybe uh, frown upon looking back on your work and, you know, sort of holding on to an image that you've taken. You know, you always want to have some forward momentum, you know, as, as a creator. But that being said, I think this was an important image to me because I probably been shooting for like I said in my earlier uh, one of my earlier photos probably about 18 months now maybe even a year I don't know and um, I think I was still finding my feet as a street photographer at least what I was shooting why I was shooting what I was shooting what about the subject matter I chose why I gravitated toward something like that so yeah this was shot in central in the sort of this little amphitheater section there where, you know, at night people go there to drink and smoke and shit. During the day, it's a lunch spot. So in the image, you've got uh, this white collar worker in his suit and he's sort of having a little contemplative moment, sort of a rare moment of respite and chill from uh, what I'm assuming is a pretty intense work schedule for him. I felt like this was the first time that I'd taken an image that, you know, maybe carried a bit more weight than just, you know, interesting lines. You know, I like the the idea where he's sort of, bottom half of this image is more peaceful. And then as he works his way up, you know, it gets just manic and cluttered and just it gets a bit more intense. Hong Kong is a city full of black and white, full of juxtapositions you know, rich and poor, and the work balance is, can get pretty intense. And I feel a lot of people here, because it's such a, a consumerist and materialistic sort of society we live in out here, that what are you working for toward the end of the day? You know, it's, you, know you, you can work and work and attain all of this, you know, uh, numeric value to your life. But uh, what is that actually getting you? I kind of like to believe that this image sort of challenges that in some way, maybe gets you to ask a question or two. This was actually quite a recent image I took on a trip to Thailand. So we were at a spot on the side of we were chilling out there one day and this place we stayed at there's no electricity from 6am to 6pm you know so you really sort of 
forced to just literally just switch off and just take it easy. These two women were in the water and the colors were looking amazing. The moment they turned around, I, I ran in as close as I could. Uh, I think I was shooting a little, uh, on a Yashica FX3 at the time. And I took two snaps of them. And yeah, this is the, the favorite one. This shot was outside of a Mahjong club in Jordan. It looks like there's some shady stuff going on, you know? Don't often shoot black and white too much anymore, but uh, when I do, I, I do really enjoy it. And yeah, on that same point, I'm a strong believer that maybe an image is just cool because it's a cool image, you know? I don't, I know a lot of people feel uh, the need to attach a narrative to the image to give it more context. But I quite like uh, a lack of context in images. I like it when so, uh, you know the viewer can sort of come to their own conclusions of how they feel about an image, you know, what sort of emotional takeaway they get. For a good while, my main uh, shooting time was between 12 and 2 p.m. because that's what my sort of daily lunch time uh, allowed me. You know, so I'd grab a quick bite and I would go shoot. This was taken in Mongkok in the ladies' market and I'd become quite familiar with the environment at the time. You go through an ebb and flow where you sort of get bored of the same environment, but then at the same time, it kind of forces you to look at things a little bit differently. Usually, I don't shoot any subject more than once. I tend to go on a pretty high shutter speed, and then I can move, you know, I can get in and out. So yeah, I just took this one photo, and it came out pretty cool, it came out pretty, uh, pretty surreal. shot in Namibia, which is a country just north of South Africa. I was there over October toward the end of 2017 and I just got married. Went there with my wife, met up with my mom and my dad. I love the country. I was lucky enough to spend a lot of time there growing up due to having family out that side. And it's a desolate place, but it's very beautiful. It's a different kind of beauty, you know. And it was my first opportunity to shoot it, actually, which is really cool. And I mean, as compared to Hong Kong, it's a complete uh, 180, you know, it's just such a juxtaposition. So I think I quite enjoyed being in that environment and just trying to look at it with a different perspective now, now that I've been out here for a couple of years. We just come uh, from north of Vintuk, the capital, and we made our way to the west coast uh, to a little town called Sokop Munt. This image here, well, basically what's cool about Sokop and the, its neighboring town, uh, Walfish Bay, it's where the desert meets the ocean. So you've kind of got this like perpetual haze from obviously the hot and cold from the desert and the ocean. This shot was taken at the Walfish Bay airport. I love the colors. I love how barren and desolate it was. And it was also my first time shooting on a roll of a uh, Ektar 100 and uh, really, really enjoyed the results and I thought it suited the scene quite well. Overall, I think I like the juxtaposition uh, of having the source of water surrounded by this barren desert landscape. 